this will save you money while you're in Nairobi, Kenya or traveling around Kenya as a foreigner, as a traveler, as a tourist. More so if you're coming from African countries. I'm going to be narrating to you my experience at the Forex Exchange, the Forex Bureau, and also another alternative way how I saved up money because at the Forex Bureau, they cheated me <laughs> almost uh, 5,000 Kenyan on my Hello. first bunch of money I exchanged. They cheated me like 5,000 Kenyan shillings. And in Uganda, that's like 150,000 Ugandan shillings. Then the other alternative saved me a lot of money. By the way, guys, when I came to Kenya, I thought that the money I had was enough for me to vlog around Nairobi to, to do a lot of things in Nairobi, but I couldn't because of uh, the issue of getting cheated at the Forex Bureau. So, when I arrived at the airport, we looked for a Forex Bureau and I had 500 UBX, Ugandan shillings, and uh, that's like $150, that's like uh, $130, depending on the dollar rate. But I got 13,000 Kenyan shillings. That was very little money. So as I was planning my trip with my friend uh, Dolphin, Dolphin told me, according to the trip plan you have, the activities you have on the video, you won't be able to survive with this money. By the way, Dolphin, I want to thank you so much. Dolphin was so helpful to me because uh, she came in in some areas. <laughs> she helped me out. Big up to you, my sister. People, if you, if you don't know Dolphin254, go and check out her YouTube channel. She's such an amazing lady. She came to Uganda. I took her around the country and she reciprocated the love back to me when I came to Kenya. So, I was cheated like um, 5,000 as I've told you. Actually, it's so all the Forex bureaus. Like they were, the exchange rate was very, very low. Now, when I ran low to zero shillings, I had to look for another way of getting money. First of all, I had a challenge withdrawing money for more because I only had money on my mobile money on my SIM card in Uganda. The Ugandan SIM card. I didn't have money on my, on my bank account. So I had to look around for an Airtel service center and see whether I can send money from my SIM card, the Ugandan SIM card, to a Kenyan Airtel SIM card. And I looked around, guys. I walked until they told me, is it Pioneer House? Yeah, Pioneer House after Safaricom service center. So I went there and the ladies tried they were, at first they were like, it's not possible, what, what? And I was like, I think it's possible. Oh, I thought officers calling me. I was like, by the way guys, here in Kenya vlogging is very, very okay. <laughs> you vlog and no one will be, will disturb you unlike where I come from in my country. In my country, you always get stopped by police and sometimes they extort money from you threatening to take you to jail. <laughs> Here in Kenya, I was vlogging past police officers, army officers, they just look at you, some even say hello. And they even ask YouTube, and they ask what's the name of your YouTube channel. One young lady told me, I had gone to a restaurant, and she told me, Kenya is a free country, please, enjoy yourself. Wow, I can't believe myself, guys. I'm really enjoying Kenya, vlogging freely on the streets. People are minding their business. In Uganda, sometimes people, hide their faces when they see a camera, when they see me vlogging on the street. Some be like, why are you capturing me? You delete my video, you delete my face from your video. But here, it's very, very free. It's a friendly country for vloggers. Big up to Kenyan authorities. So, back to our topic, I went to the service center of Airtel. The ladies at first, they were not sure whether it is possible, but then they told me, okay, you first get a Kenyan Airtel line. We got it, and then, I try to send money from my Ugandan line uh, but at first it first failed because I first put the Kenyan number starting with zero first of all when you press star 185 for Ugandans you can uh, this video actually applies to everyone especially Africans who do mobile transactions and if your mobile network
can do an international transaction you will save a lot of money in forex exchange in foreign exchange when you come here in kenya you just send money from your, your mobile account to a kenyan number there you will get a lot of money i'm going to show you why later in this, in this video so wow guys look at here it's looking amazing here i want to cross so at first uh, we were starting with zero to send money from my ugandan card we were starting with zero for the kenyan phone number and it failed then we started putting uh 254 but again it failed now i started playing around with it until i just put from seven and on you don't put the zero you don't put the country code and the transaction went through and to my surprise guys i withdrew 240,000 ugandan shillings that's like a 60 70 dollars and i got 8,400 40 something shillings now remember at first i withdrew 500 sorry I, I exchanged 500 at a forex exchange but i only got 13,000. that means if you if you multiply 240,000 you will get 480,000 ugandan shillings and that means if i did that at first i would have got um 16,800 shillings almost 17,000 kenyan shillings so you see how much money i saved on the second transaction i made using the option of sending from my ugandan number to a kenyan number almost halfway so anyone traveling when you when your country supports mobile transactions like money money getting transacted through mobile numbers mobile wallets please this is the best option you have to first make research though when you're coming to kenya before you do this otherwise you will spend a lot of money and you will lose a lot of money in the foreign in the forex exchange i think it's so much better than going to a forex bureau so guys that was my experience <laughs> i hope this video helps all of you who are planning trips here to kenya and also let me talk about the side of transport and accommodation so on the side of accommodation before i came to kenya there are places i went online and searched about airbnbs hotels and most of them okay they were a bit expensive for me depending on my budget i was traveling on a low budget being that i missed a flight if you guys don't know i have a, a video which i made how security made me miss, miss my flight at Entebbe international airport so that means i had to rebook another flight and that called for more money you can imagine <laughs> so i had to book another ticket and i had to spend more money so my budget was running low you get the money i had for the trip was running low but again i had to make sure that i operate within the remaining amount of money so as i was looking at places online i saw most airbnbs they were like at 20 dollars 15 dollars and when you convert that you gonna shillings okay it's not a lot but for me it was it wasn't quite friendly but my one friend of mine in uganda uh told me about one hotel i think it's downtown kenya and uh as when we went there we came we went to another place actually it's a lodge kap guest house so when we went down there the lady first told us uh, i think was it was it 2000 2000 kenyan shillings plus wi-fi uh, and breakfast and we negotiated and she she gave me the room at 1600 kenyan shillings wi-fi and uh, breakfast and the breakfast is heavy guys not light breakfast because the first day of me sleeping here when i had that breakfast it was able to take me throughout the whole day without feeling hungry actually i just realized that i've not eaten anything during the day when i went back in the evening <laughs> so that's how beautiful it is you have internet access you have a, a heavy breakfast and a comfortable place where to sleep it's not so decent not so luxurious but for travelers like me traveling on a low budget it's a good option so there are many places downtown if you're traveling on a budget where you can find accommodation at a reasonable amount of money 
but still you will sleep comfortably though there is a lot of noise there downtown but we requested this lady to get me a room which is a bit which doesn't receive a lot of noise from the surrounding area okay so the next thing transportation for transportation you have to use matatu public transport travel as a local <laughs> travel as a local when you travel as a local you will save a lot of money matatus border borders though there are some roads which are not safe for border borders like the thicker super highway is not safe for border borders um the nairobi expressway not safe for border borders yeah my friends were advising me to get a private car or a matatu i was lucky to get a private car for one of my vlogs actually i think for two or three of my vlogs because my friends connected me to their friends hello how are you kidogo <laughs> akuna yeah <laughs> so my friends they connected me to their friends who are drivers they drive uber within town and they just came along to vibe and we gave them some little money to take us around guys let me first cross here but guys do you see how organized nairobi is nairobi is much so much organized and very very clean it's a clean city big up to the city authority to the to, to the governor of nairobi this is so impressive as a ugandan <laughs> i find this to be abroad yes i know some of my ugandan friends or subscribers watch watching this won't make you feel happy but honestly i feel like i'm abroad <laughs> okay let's continue with our <laughs> with our video guys but i think my tips i've shared will help somebody and if you have more tips which help people travel easily within kenya save money easily yeah please share them in the comment section down below so that you help as many people as we can okay and also the side of feeding you have to eat like a local if you're on a budget if you have money please go to fancy hotels fancy restaurants and enjoy yourself yeah but otherwise all in all life in nairobi is affordable for everyone if you can survive in uganda you can survive in nairobi and always people say if you can survive in uganda you can survive anywhere around the world so right now i'm looking for a place where i can uh, deposit money because i want to book a ticket to mombasa uh, train ticket i wanted to travel by bus but they told me it's more expensive and you will spend a lot of hours on the road but with a with a with a train sgr it is faster and less money so it is for the sgr it is around 1000 1000 is around uh, around uh, 26000 to 30000 you can earn shillings and that's like um eight nine dollars around there so I'm looking for an M-Pesa shop. I deposit money on my M-Pesa SIM card so that we can prepare for the trip to Mombasa. I want to bring you those amazing vlogs on the coast of Kenya. I'm really excited for that trip as well. So let's go. M-Pesa. M-Pesa. Apparently here they don't have so many kiosks on the roads like mobile money kiosks on the streets most of them are shops like this so we have one here m -Pesa. hello hello how are you i want to deposit some money on my safari com i want to deposit two thousand But I don't know my number. How do I check my number? Okay, just a moment. 
Pista. Star. Okay, first hold on. So before I deposit on uh, M-Pesa, do I need to be knowing the PIN because I've, I've not registered? So how do I activate it? Hello. Four. How do I activate it? It's a new line. Yeah. Okay, let me remove the headsets. All right, she's helping me here to activate my M-Pesa. Say hello to my people, Ugandans. Hi, Ugandans. They are watching you. <laughs> okay, even you say hello. Hi. Mm. Okay. Okay. So apparently, to activate my M-Pesa, I have to do it using my passport. Unfortunately, at the airport where I bought the SIM card, they never activate, activated M-Pesa. Mm. So she's helping me here do it for me. All right. Okay. M-Pesa menu, enter zero marani. I do what? Same toolkit. Same toolkit. Okay. Let's just search it. There we go. I don't show it to you. I don't show it to anyone. Even you. <laughs> okay, my new pin. Four digits? Four digits. Okay. Don't put your date of birth. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I don't do that. Confirmed your choice. Yeah, I've confirmed. Your passport. Your one Second huh? November. November. Eh, uh, second of November, nineteen ninety five. Guys, depositing money on M-Pesa as a foreigner is quite hard. You have to always read your passport number and your phone number. Is it the same for Kenyans? Yes. Use our ID number and phone ID number. ID number and phone number. Oh, same story. Okay. Now, as a Ugandan, I think I can also use my national ID if I don't have a... Use the one you registered the same card. Oh. So even if I have a passport, a Kenyan passport, and I register a SIM card with it, I use that passport. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's done. Okay, thank you. So how do I check balance? Still SIM toolkit. I I there's no way I can do with codes. The code, yeah. Star three three four ash. Okay. So this is it. Send money, withdraw cash by airtime. So if you want to check your balance, you go to my account okay, let me number seven. Okay. Let's try. But it, it usually takes some time for the MPSA menu to update. Okay. My send. MPSA pin. Check balance number five. Okay. Then you input your pin. Okay. So let me check my balance.
your request is being processed please wait for confirmation short message okay your account balance is 2000 asante mungu akubariki sana yes dolphin yes hello i'm here at kaunda street yeah i was uh, depositing money on mpesa mm. so where can i meet you pioneer okay let me come there shortly okay bye bye all right so guys we are done right now i'm going to be meeting my friend dolphin so we can be able to make some more amazing vlogs here in nairobi kenya all right bye bye for now if you've enjoyed this video and you found value in it kindly give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below bye bye to taunana bye let's meet in that video on the screen there click 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 and watch that video on the screen bye bye for now